Inadvertent entry into instrument meteorological conditions, or double IMC, is a common cause of helicopter accidents. Southern Utah University's helicopter training program has integrated with Chuck Aaron's Advanced Flight Academy to offer the world's only collegiate helicopter upset recovery and advanced instrument flight training. The program focuses first on preventing pilots from getting into bad situations, but if they do find themselves in danger, students are taught how to fly out of the situation in one piece. It kills people. It'll take anybody down. It's a scary situation when you pop into the clouds inadvertently. It's a shock that goes to your body because you're normally flying along and you're looking outside and maybe in a turn and then bam, you pop yourself in the clouds. I've done it and it scares the heck out of you. And now you've got to fly the helicopter scared to death. So the issue with helicopter pilots, um, it's, it's not that they, they can't fly instruments, right? We've got great pilots out there that can do just that. The issue is time to set up. If you happen to fly into a cloud and you're not expecting it, you lose that visual horizon, and now in a very short amount of time, you're trying to set the aircraft up to fly under instrument conditions. And in theory, it should be easy. In practice, it is not. Well known in the helicopter community for nearly five decades, Chuck Aaron gained worldwide fame performing helicopter aerobatics at air shows in a specially modified MBB B0105. He is the only pilot in the world licensed by the FAA to teach and perform helicopter aerobatics and only one of two teaching upset recovery training in a helicopter. The school continues to use the light twin B0105 which was the first rotorcraft capable of performing aerobatic maneuvers when it was introduced in 1970. The 105 is a, is a pilot's dream to fly. It's, it's a lot of fun. It has almost no limits. This is a perfect platform for teaching IMC training because it's got the rigid rotor and it's capable of being fully aerobatic. We do not teach aerobatics in this helicopter, but it's the perfect one to train in in case something did go wrong while we're training. Because training is a tough environment and you want to make sure you're flying in something that's uh, easy to fly and easy to train in. And this is perfect for, the, for that role. SUU's training attempts to replicate the stress pilots may experience in a double IMC situation while providing them a safe atmosphere to learn in. It's a little bit on the stressful side, but that's good. And it's, it, we, want, we want to try and scare the students when they're in the aircraft, because that's the scare they're gonna have when the real thing happens. They're safe with us while we're <laughs> doing it. One of our great partners, Icarus, has developed a device that allows us to simulate, through electronic means, a degradation in visual acuity, and we can simulate that flying into a cloud. We can go from five miles visibility, two miles, one mile to zero. Now. 100% visibility, clear skies is real easy to fly in, or if you're taking off in clouds, also easy to fly in. It's when you start to get into that in-between area where you can still see the ground, you can still see a little bit away, and most pilots will rely on visual cues instead of switching to instruments, and that's where the, the issue starts. The double IMC training is geared towards industry professionals with previous flight experience. Training occurs over a couple of days, including a day of ground instruction and three hours of flight. It is difficult training and it is stressful um, to actually get up in the air, uh, utilize the Icarus device as we're flying around. It's a stressful environment. It takes a lot out of a pilot to, to even fly for just an hour. Um, most pilots are exhausted by the time we're finished. There needs to be a lot of schools doing this, not just SUU, because there's thousands of people that need this. It's a, and it needs to be mandatory. The FAA needs to make it mandatory.